Whoa, it's the NES Zapper. This is like iconic gaming technology from the mid 80s. But this isn't a normal NES Zapper. This one's a laser pointer. So you're probably wondering, how did I make this? Well, it's pretty simple. I took all the screws out and it comes apart in four pieces. These two, there's two gray pieces held together by three screws. And then there's a screw there, there should be one there, and then there's a couple of hidden ones there, and then two little ones at the end. You pull all those apart, and inside is a small circuit board. There's a wire that snakes around there, out through the bottom. You'll also have to remove the trigger assembly to get the circuit board out. Once I gutted the inside, I saved the trigger assembly. It's basically a simple, uh, normally open switch that's connected, and it's connected to a spring on the inside. So when you pull the trigger all the way, it gives you a quick blast. I put two AAA batteries on the inside and a small laser diode that I got from a broken laser pointer. The diode itself was fine, but the laser pointer was cracked and the button didn't work. But that's okay, I didn't need it for this project. This gun was broken, it was dropped at some point, and the plastic was all cracked around there and the board didn't work, so... I gutted all that out, held it together with uh, electrical tape once I got everything sealed back up, and uh, now I've got a pretty cool gun. Also, the alignment is pretty bad. It doesn't look bad on camera, but it goes up and to the right pretty bad in real life. Once you get a feel for it, though, it's not bad because you can kind of tell where it's going to go. If you have a broken NES zapper, or I think Sega had something similar, if you can find something like this. Pretty simple. There's a simple switch on the inside, and you have a laser diode just lying around. This is a pretty fun project. This is way more fun than a normal laser pointer, and you could probably even play some fun games or something with it. I've got projects planned for this in the future, so stay tuned for those.